welcome to the universe and welcome to the storytelling broadcast the design traits presents story narration for a proposed film which has been adopted from the novel of the same title mask age blunder mask age blunder is basically a novel which has been published and we are in the process of converting into cinematography we shall also have stand up comedy in connection to that movie because it is a hilarious comedy farcical one mask age blunder i must make you aware circle around the pandemic period that's why a mask age mask was compulsory those days to wear and the blunders the protagonist made one after another to create havoc in his life we need to know the log line of the story in the form of screenplay and it is gay artist finds a way to express his gaiety urge through his sketches while god summons his soul into purgatory and punishes him with the pandemic for the blunder he committed in his life the first episode is resurrection the title of the first episode i mean an amateur artist commissions himself for a live sketching of teenagers in his studio unfortunately a hiccup <coughs> like this kills him on the spot his soul reaches to the purgatory where the shapeless god questions him about his original faith being a convert he could not answer then a series of computer images are shown to enable him to confess his sins unable to answer god's investigation he is cursed to experience the pandemic so sad then comes divine cross examination second episode of the story a flashback in the mode of confession tells us that the protagonist named cipher was born in a refugee camp before the birth of bangladesh he was a twi- he has a twin sister who lost his eyesight due to the misdiagnosis of a quack doctor that happened to be a sadhu when we are brought back to the present we are introduced with the cipher's foster son who was a muslim the teenager appealed his imam to cremate his father as per islamic rituals whereas god sends him back to the earth with an extension of his life span then comes the episode title pilgrim for gold here Another flashback takes us to Dubai shopping festival where Cypher now about 26 years old gets an opportunity to demonstrate sketch work in the trade fair there he gets a chance to carve a fruited tree trunk into a witch with snakes birds and other animals as her hairs Mr and Mrs Joseph two more characters who commissioned him for his work paid him in gold which honored him a recognition that he is also a professional artist back in india he is hypnotized by a teenager who robbed him everything well interesting episode comes point blank reunion when god sent him back to the earth through resurrection he granted means god granted cipher a wish that he would give him a lot of cash in indian currency Unfortunately the cash he receives is of no use because the government of India has scrapped 500 and 1000 rupees notes during demonetization if you remember next riyaz connects with his stepmother half brother through social media but cipher does not want to talk to them meanwhile two strangers who befriended duped him all his savings after that gradually the comes the next interesting episode infectious love after the demonetization and losing all the savings through failed partnership business cipher has no money even to pay rent for a studio as well as his house on the other hand his financial crisis reached into a cliff when doctors detects riaz acquired hiv my god As soon as he decides to leave the city for good another fraudulent scam ruins him off this makes him abandon his foster son in delhi and rush to mumbai for earning his bread and butter and save enough to re- reunite with his family and cure his sister's eyes ah mumbai is a city of illusion magical city so this episode is dedicated 
for the Mumbai city. City of Illusions. The study has brought Cypher to the magical city Mumbai with renewed hope to be an artist in the film industry. Here survival is harder than any other city in the country. Living in a bed space, commuting in the crowded train and eating dhabba food, we call it dhabba food, sickens his life and his aspiration begins to this deplete. He tries to transform his psychology, language, attitude to fit in the cinematic personality where he is again duped with the fake services and acting assignments. But the rain, train and grain of unusual love leverage him to stay here for long. Mumbai is an addiction. Okay, the next episode is Attempt to Lynch. Cyber begins to take up dishwashing job in the catering group while trying for a break into the film amidst nepotism and snobbishness. He becomes habitual to make mistakes such as brushing his teeth, brushing his teeth, I mean, with skin ointment, missing his stations while traveling by locals to workplace and making friends with strangers. He brings a stranger home and drew tattoos on his back after sharing some drinks. At night, the stranger tries to run away with his mobile and cash, but Cypher sages him back. But his allegation, the boy's allegation, of sexual abuse prompted the neighbors to carry out a lynch on him. So sad of Cypher. We land into Janata curfew, the next episode. The artist could not survive the lynching attack of the Neva, an immediate order to evacuate the rental chawl. Chawl is a kind of hut in Mumbai. A simple fever took him to hospital. This time, with another teen friend, Kalija, his roommate in the new lodging attacks him in a dark evening. It's not Kalija, maybe Kalija's friend. Inviting the police to sum- submit the unconscious body to the hospital meant for the criminal. Police arranges his departure to his blind sister where another friend named Abhishek duped him. On arrival at his native place, authorities find him infected with coronavirus. Authority in the airport, I mean. Then comes the critical period, lockdown. This title, heightened lockdown. There is the sudden announcement of pandemic in the country along with the sickening world with coronavirus. Police begins to hit people walking outside their home or indulging in human activity outside their houses. Transports, trains, flyer, flights, shops, markets, schools, colleges and human movement are shut indefinitely. A new concept of called WFH, work from home, is introduced for the working people. The world reaches to a standstill and Cypher is still coping with pipes in his extractory organs. When the pandemic became more acute, we are marching towards the next episode, Surging Pandemics. Migrant workers can't wait in the sickening land through, though government organizations and NGOs are trying to rehabilitate them with food, water, medicines, and other essential things. They begin to leave the cities on foot and on bicycles or whichever limited vehicles they can afford. Fatality rates have been accelerating in geometric rates and rescue efforts are in the peak. Hospitals have no place and graveyards have no scope to accommodate more corpses. Health experts are not still able to diagnose with proper medicines. Medicines are not found, it means. On the other hand, Sadhu, the character that we got in the first uh, episode, come up with Coronavil to help the mass. It is his invention. Then comes interesting event titled Invisible Monsters. Cross-dress Kalija. Do you remember that Kalija is the character who became friend with the protagonist? Could not leave the magical city Mumbai after Cypher has reached his native place. Takeaway from food outlets are permitted only for an hour. A handsome young man takes down his number, considering him a girl, and connects later via WhatsApp. They fall in love and marry during the lockdown. 
On the first night, Charlie understands his wife's orientation. Charlie is the friend who took the number in the KFC. He yells to his parents for his own mistake while Kalija flees from the scene. On the other hand, this individual virus becomes more ferocious than ever with no chance of inventing vaccines, though the government has already launched a Zetu app to monitor such monsters. Well, this pandemic become acute and acute and deteriorated the conditions of the people. This title, Camouflaging Variants, Camouflaging Variants. When scientists could not invent one pertinent medicine for COVID-19, vaccine has become the distance dream. However, some research centers begin human trial over the immunization. On the other hand, there are a number of new arrivals variant every two weeks that loom around human lives. Public health authorities observe stricter COVID norms in an effect to curb the virus. Health workers begin to smuggle not only medicines but also human organs as corpses are not allowed to bury, uh, bury rituals. Everywhere, Masks are prevalent and sanitizers are appreciated amidst the fear of new variants. Cypher begins to heal himself through nature therapy. Natural therapy. We go ahead with the next episode. Next episode is Grand Master's Beat. This is similar to um, Big Boss. Well, coronavirus has crippled the civilization. Almost everybody is caged inside their houses with crisis for food and basic amenities. The entertainment industry is completely shut with no chance to reopen. With the discovery of vaccine and stabilizing the curbs, the administration gradually begins the unlocking process. Good thing happening. Finding himself with little better cipher returns to Mumbai where there are inscriptions everywhere, no mask, no entry. Sadhu has launched the big research report on the cure of coronavil. Likewise, the member of the LGBT community who don't comply with COVID restrictions are quarantined in Mud Island, where they participate in Grand Master's show illegally. Okay, the following episode is Page on Tales here. Scientists and health war experts profess that coronavirus would never go. We have to learn to live with it, with the new norms. Realizing that life has returned to be very unsafe, dull and pathetic, artists killed, plans out new mode of storytelling via sketch or painting. It means the participants have to narrate a story that is depicted in the sketch of or painting. Cypher wins one such contest where he explained that the early man was afraid of supernatural power when he and his folks used to worship. During the discourse of civilization, the source of such fear became God, and ideas centered around his rules inscribed on stones, bank, barks, animal skins, which become holy books later, we call them scriptures. When the pandemic rose up and up, the devastation continued. This episode is penultimate variance. Mumbai witnessed drastic recovery of the COVID patients and arrival of the vaccines that prompted them to withdraw lockdown. But after a week itself, the infection curve rose to the abnormal height. So the local administration has to reintroduce curfew and reduce human activities to zero. Education institutions introduce hybrid classes and businesses start to base more of online and home delivery. The shoots for Grandmaster Show continues with more enthusiasm. Riaz and his half-sibling reunite via many conference calls. They all despise Cypher for his irresponsibility and absconding nature. Riaz and Estella fall in love. You know, both of them are cousin actually in reality, which they don't know each other because they don't know each other. Next coming, Heaven's Curse, important and special episode. Cypher's blind sister, who did not hear from his brother for long, 
since he returned from the village couple of months ago. Delta variant turns to be perilous in the city. Desperate cipher lulls in a somber one afternoon when Goddam gives him a cut's visit. Goddam is God in his shuttle like a chariot. God tells him that he has come to take him to the heaven this time. He also forbids him to share this news to anybody. But he shared it in the social media pages. The viral news brought everybody to his studio from where God would fly them to the heaven. But on the way, God forges a plan and drops everybody back to the earth when Cypher wakes up to see himself shaking his body. Almost uh, ending episode coming up. Karnik, karmic fate. The word karmic has come from the word karma. How karma dwindles his life. Cypher wins a storytelling contest through sketches on the theme of immunity. Later, this sketch is sold in an auction where he makes a lot of money in the form of jackpot. This money is spent to transplant his eyes with his sister and to buy a house to welcome his long-lost family to Mumbai. Sadly, his biological kids, an official wife, refuses to reunite with him because he had adopted a Muslim boy as his son. The penultimate variant called Omicron has a halt from infecting fast. His son, who possessed the stigma of HIV, finally decides to abandon his godfather because Cypher would have no family otherwise. Blind Cypher surrenders himself to the tides of the ocean. This is the end of the briefing of the entire story. We will follow up one by one all these episodes in detail in the future.